Here we are in chapter 7 review exercises numbers 37 through 45. We're dealing with imaginary numbers and complex numbers when we combine them with reals. So uh, the thing we always need to remember is that i squared will give us negative 1. Notice that when we take i times itself, we are now out of the imaginary world and back into the real world with this translation. So every time we see an i squared, it's negative 1. So we notice here, i to the sixth is i squared cubed. So that's i squared is negative 1. Hey, we know how to do that one. Negative 1 cubed is simply a negative 1. So here we have i squared uh, to what power? Uh, looks like 1,156. Yeah. 2312 divided by 2 is 1156. Got it. So this is negative 1 to the 1156th power. Well, what is that? That's negative 1 to an even power. So we're going to have negative times negative times negative. This is going to be a positive 1. That's right. All right. So oh, we got a couple of answers. Let's circle them over there. Number 39, i to the 17th. So this is i squared. We can get all the way up to, let me see, if we times by 8, that's 16th power, and then we have 1 left over. Right? Is that all 17? Yeah. i squared, so this is negative 1 to the 8th power times i. Negative 1 to the 8th power is 1 times i. So this reduces down to i. Excellent. All right, number 40. This is a binomial, complex number, complex number. We just do it like any binomial. We have 14 minus 28i plus 4i uh, minus 8i squared. Um, so first, let's put these two i's together, and this becomes a negative. Well, let's write it down. 14 minus 24i, and then this is minus 8. Now, remember, i squared is a negative 1, so this is plus 8. So the 8 and the 14 go together, and you have 22 minus 24i. And we write imaginary numbers with their real part first, and then their imaginary part second. OK, number 41. Binomial again. So we get 21 plus 9i minus 28i minus 12i squared. All right, so this is 21. Mm, minus 19i, is that right? Minus 9 and a plus 28, so minus 19i. And this is minus 12. Remember, i squared is a negative 1. So this is actually a plus 12. So 21 plus 12 is 33 minus 19i. Excellent. Number 42. Uh, distribute. And we get minus 9 minus 24i minus 15i minus 40i squared. Remember, i squared is a negative 1. Negative 1 makes this a plus 40. Let's just write that out there. Okay, so 40 minus 9 is 31 minus 39i. That's a minus 24 and a minus 15. Good. Okay, now for division. And really, this is like rationalizing the denominator, or in this case, realizing the denominator, making sure the denominator is real. So here we can times top and bottom by i, because it's just a square root of negative 1. Yeah, let's not write it like square root of negative 1, but that's what it is. It's the square root of negative 1, so we're really just timesing by that to allow it to escape the imaginary world. So on the top, we get 3i minus 7i squared over 3i squared. Now, what is i squared? Negative 1. Remember this right up here. i squared is negative 1. So 3 times the negative 1. So we get a negative 3. And then we have, uh, this is a positive 7 and a positive 3i. So it could look like that. Let's break it up into its two fractions. We have negative 7 thirds minus i. That's 3 over 3. So we took the, the 7 over the negative 3 and the positive 3 over the negative 3, i. So it'll be written like this in the standard a plus bi format. OK, um, number 44. Here we have to multiply by something 
that will get rid of i on the bottom, just like we did with the square roots. We're going to use the power of the conjugate. So 2 plus 3i is what we're going to times by on top and bottom, since we have the power to times by anything we want. And our goal is to get the i's off the bottom. So on the top, we get, oh, let's put that guy in parentheses, 5 times 2 is 10 plus 15i uh, minus 8i minus 12i squared. Okay, we'll come back and deal with that in just a moment. Um, the bottom, 2 times 2 is 4. 2 plus, times 3i is positive 6i minus 6i uh, minus 9i squared. And now we see the power of the conjugate on the bottom that those guys are gone. And this i squared is a negative 1. So this is 4 minus a negative 9. 4 plus 9, that's a 13 on the bottom. Okay, let's look, go back to the top. This is 15 minus 8, that's a plus 7i. Okay, this i squared makes this negative 1. So negative 12 times negative 1 is a positive 12 plus 10 is 22. So you could leave it like this or the official format, I should write this out here somewhere. The official complex numbers are a real portion and then an imaginary portion. So you could leave it like this or write it as 22 thirteenths plus 7 thirteenths i. And then the real part is 22 thirteenths and the imaginary part is 7 thirteenths i. Okay, and um, number 45. Uh, times by the conjugate again, that's negative 9 minus 5i on top and bottom, negative 9 minus 5i. Oh, we should notice that this timesing by the conjugate did exactly what we wanted it to do. We no longer have imaginary numbers in the denominator when we do this. So on the top, 7 times negative 9 is a negative 63. 7 times negative 5 is a negative 35i. Uh, 3i, that's a negative 27i. That times that is a negative 15i squared. Then on the bottom, we have negative 9 times negative 9 is a positive 81 plus 45i minus 45i uh, minus 25i squared. All right, let's simplify this. On the bottom, the i's go away, which is why we chose the conjugates to times together so we'd have no middle terms. i squared becomes a negative 1. So we get 85 plus, 81 plus 25 is 106 on the bottom. And then on the top, let me see, negative 35 and negative 27i. So that's negative 62i. Okay, and then i squared is a negative 1, so that brings it back into the real world. Negative 15 times negative 1 is positive 15. Negative 63 plus 15 is a negative 48. Um, we can pull a 2 out of everything. If you take a 2 out of the top, you get negative 24 minus 31i all over. So that's a 2 t out of the top and a 2 times 53 on the bottom. Those two cancel out and we're left with negative 24 minus 31i over 53. And we can write it as negative 24 over 53 minus 31 over 53i. And there we go.